comedy. So either way, go see one of those. Go see a movie, and now we are going to get some barbecue. I think Chastity's out back. There she is. Chastity, have you eaten all the ribs yet? I haven't eaten all the <laughs> ribs yet. However, I mean, I just got to work. You got to give me a little bit of time to warm up. However, Mr. JJ with Shane's Rib Shack, he might have nibbled on a few this morning. Oh, yeah. Already getting started. Quality control. The well, we'll have to remember that. You know, it is getting into the summertime season. Mother's Day, Memorial Day is coming up. What is a better summertime food? Ribs. And ribs. Nothing is better. JJ, so what do we have going on first out here? We have a lot of food. First off, Joe is going to swing around and take a look at some of the food we have out here. But, of course, the main thing we're talking about are these nice ribs. And, of course, the best thing with ribs, the most important thing with ribs is how you prepare them. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. From start to finish, you cannot rush barbecue, okay? It's, it, this becomes cliche. It's become cliche, but you, want, you always want to do barbecue low and slow, okay? You know, I don't think I would do very well with this, JJ, because I'm a little impatient. <laughs> I don't know if I can do well with this. to to do barbecue right. <laughs> um, and it starts right from the beginning. Uh, you want to use fresh meat if possible, okay? But sometimes it's hard to find fresh ribs, or you, it's just way cheaper to buy frozen ribs. So you want to, you want to thaw them out nice and slow under cold drizzling water okay you don't want to tenderize your meat or boil your meat or anything like that either okay a lot of people want to boil their meat to make it tender and that's not the key the key is low and slow you use that heat to make it nice and, and nice and tender for you okay okay so these are ready to go yes well they're ready to season yes ma'am uh, barbecue is something you, that kind of uh, you can do it your own way. People bring out their personality a lot of the time by making their own rubs and spices and stuff like that. Uh, that's a lot of the fun part to barbecue, you, at least for me. JJ, you know what mine would be? What? Sassy. Sassy and there you spicy. Go. It'd, it'd be the name of the, <laughs> the, the spice, right? right? Well, the name of our spice is, is chicken and rib seasoning. This is a proprietary thing. I'm not going to give you this recipe. I'm sorry. It's a secret. Okay. But uh, you can make your own. Uh, there's seasoning salt in here, uh, coarse ground pepper, coarse salt, uh, lots of good stuff in there. Now, can they buy this at Shane's Rib Shack? This you cannot buy. You can buy all our sauce flavors. We've got like seven or eight different sauce flavors, okay. some of which you see there, um, but but not the spices. Okay, that's, that's special. Stuff. That's special okay. stuff. But anyway, <laughs> um, the ribs, you just want to season lightly. You, there's a, a meaty side and a bony side, okay? Um, and you just start off on the, on the bony side and you season that lightly. Just like that. And then you just flip them over. I tell you what, JJ, you've got everybody in the studio coming out to the patio wondering what's going on and actually wanting to eat your food. I know they can smell that grill food. right now. So. All right, so we, we do it a little heavier on the meaty side so it soaks in. You can rub it in if you want. You don't have to. Um, and then we'll discuss kind of the smoking process a little bit later, I are, guess, right? Are they going to sit here? Now, do they need to sit here once you season them, or are they ready to go in the grill? No, well, they go in the smoker first. Uh, okay. You smoke them first, uh, so they're ready to go in the smoker. Obviously, smoke, yeah. you can tell. I'm really good with ribs. <laughs> I make them all the well, time. Well, we don't have a smoker here in the studio either, so we're going to have to do some magic there. So. Okay, and you guys have a giveaway for, again, all everybody loves ribs. You guys have a pretty awesome giveaway and it's coming up this weekend. It is. It's Saturday the 17th. Uh, it's our annual rib giveaway. The first customers at each location get a free half rack of ribs, a free 20 ounce drink, and a, a shirt to commemorate the, the occasion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, for, so the first 100 customers, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. They, get, they start lining up a few hours before we open I was about up. to say, JJ, they'll start lining up around midnight the we night before. We got all sorts of fun things going on during that line. We got hula hoop competitions, some giveaways, awesome. uh, some games, and it's we try to make it a lot of fun. So. And we're going to put this recipe on our website, fox10tv.com, so you can follow along with us. We have a couple more cooking segments to come. We're going to get this stuff in the smoker <laughs> and then on the grill, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know, funny thing is, Joe and Cherish, I'm out here in the parking lot. We're out here where all the employees pull up. I like being out here because I can see what time all the employees get here because I'm never late, ever. Right, and you're always trying to or you're always trying to beat everybody to the food. And Chastity said twice in there, she's like, so "Are they ready to go? Are they ready to put in?" <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cherish. Thanks a lot. But we're gonna be out here with JJ. I'm gonna try not to eat the food just yet, and we'll be out here with JJ in just a little bit. Oh, share, Chastity. <laughs> All right, looking forward to more of that. Now this.